welcome back to my channel. My name is Naomi Rook. If you're brand new to my channel, consider subscribing. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to ring that notification bell so you can be notified anytime I do upload a video. Today, what I'm going to do is a full glam holiday type makeup. I know it's a little early for this, but I have been doing this eyeshadow look three or four times in the past couple weeks and I just love it. It reminds me of holiday. It's super glowy. It's super beautiful. I wanted to talk about these products so I figured I would go ahead and hop into the holiday makeup looks already even if it's a little early. I'm kind of ahead of the ball so that's kind of nice. So I am going to go ahead and show you how I got this super full coverage glam glowy glossy beautiful makeup look so if you would like to see how I did create this look then just keep watching and let's get her done. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start with my eyeshadow look. This is a look I have done like three or four times. I love it. It's so beautiful. Very kind of shiny and glistening. Very holiday party-esque. What I'm going to do is start with some of my... This is the Transition Palette from Dominique Cosmetics. This is a eyeshadow face palette, brow palette. It's everything included. I'm going to go ahead and use this palette for my transitions. I'm going to start with this toffee color. It's kind of a cool, cooler toned color. And I'm going to just blend that very low into my crease. Next, I'm going to hop into this caramel color and I'm going to do that right above my crease just to blow that out a little bit. I really want to keep this whole look very neutral and I'm also going to keep it very rounded. So right here on my crease, I am just rounding off that color. I am not kind of sweeping it out or anything. Next, I'm going to take this gray, it's ash. I'm going to put that even lower down into my crease area. Like right below my crease almost. And I'm going to put it out on the back half of my crease and not any further in. really like this palette. I think it works really well. Super blendable. I love having a palette like this where I can just build up all the mattes I want and then take a couple eyeshadow toppers and put those right on top. That's some of my favorite type of looks to do so I really do love and definitely utilize palettes that are all matte because I have tons of, like I said, single shadows that are super beautiful and glittery and metallic that I can throw on top of mattes. I'm going to take some of that caramel color again and really, really blend that out. Next, I'm going to take Smoky, and then I'm going to use even a smaller brush. This is the small pointed eyeshadow brush from Profusion. I'm going to tap that on. I'm going to start down at my lash line and kind of just tap that color in. So it's not super dark, but so it adds some depth. And then kind of just take that up into my crease area and round that off. So next I'm going to go in with the Hourglass. This is their Scatter Lights in Smoked. I love this. It is such a gorgeous, 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 super shimmery, taupey color. I'll get a little swatch for you. Let's see. So here's a tiny little swatch. I didn't get very much because I do have nails on. I don't know if you can see that super well. But it's a very, very gorgeous, really shimmery color. So I apply this to the lid. And then on top of that, I'm going to apply the KVD. So this is the KVD Dazzle Stick Longwear Eyeshadow in Hail Surge. This is beautiful. Comes in a little stick, so it's super convenient to apply the color of this. Watch this. Look at this. Oh, look how beautiful that is. It is just wet. It almost feels like cooling to the touch. It's such a beautiful, beautiful formula. Well, my biggest thing when I am using a cream shadow, yes, they're very beautiful, but a lot of them do crease on me. So this one does not crease. I have used it three or four times now, and I've used it by itself. I've used it, and then I put powder on top, and it did not crease. I've used it on top of powder, and it did not crease. So I have definitely given it a try. I've tried it in all the different ways, and it does not crease. It lasts all day, and it is gorgeous. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and kind of cut my crease with some glitter glue and then I'm going to apply that hourglass shadow. I'm going to take the hourglass shadow and just tap that on top of the glitter glue. So 
that one is definitely sheeny, but this one, oh, this is pure metallic. It's so, so pretty. So I am going to go ahead and just put some on my brush and then just apply that right on top. And that is like pure metal. It's so gorgeous. The one thing about these dazzle sticks is they are really soft. So you do have to be careful not to roll it up too much because you can definitely like push it over because they are super soft in the tube. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do the glitter on this side and I'll be right back. That is just stunning. I don't know what is in this, but it is the most metallic cream shadow I've ever used. Just absolutely beautiful. So there is the eyeshadow look. I love how this turned out. I think it's super beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and hop off, do my liquid liner, do mascara, and then I will be right back. Okay, so there is the eyes so far. I'm going to definitely do a little bit more, but I'm going to wait till I'm done with my face. So I'm not going to prime my face because I did apply a ton of moisturizer because I was feeling pretty dry. So I'm just going to leave it there. I think it'll be perfectly fine. I am going to go in with one of my absolute favorite foundations. This is the Catrice True Skin. When I am getting ready for kind of a special occasion or any type of full glam makeup, I definitely want to go with a foundation I know, love, and trust. This has really great coverage. It's medium. You can definitely build it to full coverage. It is a really fantastic foundation. I have a natural hazel and cool cashmere. I Right now, mix the two. I am in between my winter and my summer sh shade. So I'm going to go ahead and mix the two of these on the back of my hand and then apply it to my face. I'm just going to apply that with my sponge. I really like this foundation a lot with sponges. I like all my foundations with sponges. What am I saying? <laughs> and this, look at that coverage. Such a great full coverage drugstore foundation that looks like skin. It doesn't look super heavy up close. It has a really nice satin finish. It's not matte. Not super, super dewy, but it does have some luminosity. It's just a really great foundation. And for special occasions, of course, I like to take my time with my foundation. I like to wear a little bit more makeup on special occasions just to have that really flawless, glamorous type look to my makeup. So I'm definitely applying a little bit more foundation than I normally would. But with this one, that's okay because you don't see it. It doesn't look like you have a ton of foundation on your face. There is that all blended in. It just looks absolutely flawless. It has really good, good coverage. I love this. And also, this foundation wears a really long time. So I just, I really do love that foundation. It's probably one of my top five favorite from the drugstore. It's just really good. I do think it would work also, even if you have oily skin, I would just powder it down a little bit and I think it would just be absolutely perfect. For, all right, for concealer, I'm gonna go in with my favorite concealer. This is the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Concealer. I love this so much. This is an L4. It is a fantastic full coverage, really great concealer. So I'm gonna apply that there and there just a little bit more than I normally would just because like I said I'm going for more of that full glam type look so I do want to add a little bit more and then this concealer I do like to let just sit for a little bit I definitely like to let it dry down it has more coverage and it looks really flawless under the eyes Next, I'm going to go in with my Kosas Cloud Set. I love this powder. It is such a fantastic, lightly milled powder. Works really well. And it's not super heavy under my eyes. Next, I'm going to go in with my Jaclyn. This is the Brightening and Setting Palette. And I'm going to go ahead and go in with this yellow powder under here. And just apply the tiny, tiniest bit to my under eyes just to add a little bit more brightness. I'm going to apply just a little bit of my NYX High Glass Powder all over the face just to set the rest down but not to take away from the really beautiful glow. For bronzer I'm going to go with my Iconic London Ultimate Bronzing Powder and I'm just going to really bronze up my face. I love this bronzer. This is a really great matte bronzer. It's not super pigmented so you do have to build it up which I do like. If you don't go overboard you can just add and keep blending and it really adds a beautiful amount of bronze without getting too overboard. I have this also in medium bronze. 
can kind of just see that building up slowly. Really pretty color. This is a really good bronzer to kind of contour-ish your nose because it is matte. I do really like it for the nose as well. A little bit under my lip and really bring that down the neck. I do, even though I am pretty pale right now, I do like to bronze up pretty good, especially for like special occasion makeup. Then for a little luminous bronze, I'm going to go with my Too Faced. This is my Sweet Tea bronzer. This is a baked bronzer. This is such an OG. Do you guys remember hearing about this on YouTube? People used to absolutely love this bronzer. So just kind of blend that. Adds a beautiful glow to the bronze. You can kind of see right there. really like this one. I don't even know if it's available anymore. I hope it is. But it is really pretty. And then for blush, I'm going to go to my Tarte Party. I have used and abused this one up. This is a really, really great matte blush that lasts all day long. If I'm going to be doing full coverage glam makeup, I want a matte blush that is going to last all day. And I really love Party. I do want to get more of these Tarte blushes. I really love them. They are a fantastic formula. And they last really long. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that to my cheeks. And kind of do it a little heavy. I like having a lot of blush. Blush is the first thing that fades on my face. So I want to do a really pretty blushed look. And this is a really neutral pink. So it works really well when you're using kind of those neutrally kind of taupey colors on your eyes. Next I am going to do highlighter. I'm going to go and spray my face with a little Morphe setting spray. This is a must if you want super blinding wet like highlighters. Wet your face with some setting spray and then it'll set everything down and then put your highlighter on top. For highlighter, I'm going to go in with my favorite. This is the Pixi Glowy Gossamer Duo and Delicate Dew. I love this one so much. I just go into both the gold and the pink. Kind of just mix them together and apply them to my cheeks. Tiny bit on my nose. A little on my cupid's bow. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and finish under the eyes. I'm going to use a little bit of eyeshadow to smoke it out. So I'm going to go in with that toffee color from the Dominique Cosmetics palette and blend that out a little bit. A little bit of the caramel to blend that out. A little mascara on my bottom lashes. Another thing that I love to do is use the highlighter that I used on my face as my inner corner highlight. So I'm just going to apply those two colors together into my inner corner just to add some beautiful glow there. Alright, and then for this look, you could definitely add a bright red lip and it would look beautiful. You could add it pink. A lot of times for holiday parties, I do kind of like pink lipsticks just because I do prefer pink over red. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to just do a really pretty nude just because it's, it's a little early for the red lips, I think. So I'm going to go with my Morphe Sugar Pie Lip Liner. Then for lipsticks, I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal. This is the 808 Macadamia. I love this. This is the perfect concealer type pinky nude. And just apply that into the middle of my lips. And kind of just blend those two colors together. And on top of that, I'm just going to add my Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. And this is just in Fenty Glow. I do want to get the fussy one that looks really beautiful. Just apply that right into the middle of my lips. So there is the finished makeup look. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I love how this turned out. I think it's so beautiful. It's going to be really long lasting, very glowy. I love the dark eyes, but they're not like super dark. I kind of have smaller eyes, so I don't like to do a ton of really dark eyeshadow looks, but I really, really, really love how this turned out. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.